this is our next practicals which is based on the frictions so here we have to find out the coefficient of frictions in between the surface of the drum and the thread so for the purpose the apparatus is given that is a coil friction apparatus so here this is a drum and this is the surface of the drum outer surface of the drum on the outer surface we have to wound the thread by using the different angle of contact suppose in this case the thread is mounted on the drum and the angle of contact in between the thread and the drum is 180 degrees so here we have to make the arrangement for every threading we have to make the arrangement of different angle of contact from the pi by 2 up to the 3 pi by 2 right so that different angle of contact we have to make and for the purpose the pulleys are provided so with the help of this pulley the different we are making the different angle of contact between the surface of the drum and the thread so here on the thread one side of the thread we are considering it is a tight side and one side of the thread we are considering it is slack side so suppose uh, this is a slack side of the thread and this is the tight side of the thread so here we are applying the known weight that is the fixed weight in the pan and then we are applying the some weight on the tight side that is greater than the slack side suppose here we are applying the 20 gram weight in the slack side now we have to apply the weight in the tight side to lift the 20 gram weight 20 gram weight so that weight whatever load we are applying on the tight side that will be the greater than the uh, weight on the slack side so we are considering this is the tight side and this is the uh, slack side so why why the weight is required more as compared to the slack side because there is a friction between the surface of the drum and the thread so to overcome the friction of force acting between the these two surfaces for the purpose we have required some of the more forces some of the more efforts on the second side so we are considering this is a tight side because the weight is more on this side as compared to the this side so in our observation table the first column is given for serial number 1 to 5 there is a uh, 1 to 6 serial number are given so that means we have to, uh, we have to take the 6 readings then the second uh, column is given for angle of contact so in the angle of contact from the pi by 2 to the 3 pi so means pi by 2 to the 3 pi we have to make the uh, angle of contact from the pi by 2 that is 90 degree to the 3 pi that is 520 degree so 90 degree se leke 520 degree tar means by every time we have to increase the that angle of contact by uh, 90 degree so that angle of contact we have to make between the thread and the surface on the drum then the next is given for tension in the slack side so that is a T1 so suppose this is a slack side so tension in this side so tension in this side is given as the weight of pan plus weight in the pan that is a total weight then the next column is given for total weight so weight of pan we have to consider and then weight in the pan so tension in the slack side is constant for our reading so here we are applying the known weight on the slack side on the second side on the second side the tension in the uh, tension in the tight side we have to apply the uh, weight in the pan for to lift the weight on the slack side so here also we have to consider the weight of pan so the in the next column that is the tension in the tight side that is T2 the first column is given for weight of pan on the tight side then weight in the pan and then total weight so these are the uh, two columns are given so here we have to take the reading for the first two columns and then the remaining next three columns is a calculation part so that we have to uh, do the that we have to do after the experimentations right now for the first reading the tension on the tight side uh, tension on this slack side so here we have to consider the weight of pan the weight of pan on the slack side is 18.70 and weight of pan on the tight side is 
19.19 now we have to apply the weight on the slack side that is fixed weight or already and that is a 20 gram then apply the load on the tight side to lift a weight from the slack side is very slowly it is moving so now there is a friction between the thread and the drum so weight acting on the tight side is 42 42 g and weight on the slack side is 20 g so the total weight is the sum of weight of pan plus weight in pan then for the next reading the angle of contact is pi that is 180 degree so now the angle of contact between the thread and the drum so from here the angle of surface is in contact it is up to here so the angle of contact is 180 degree that is pi in terms of radian so now again the weight on this slack side is 20 g and weight of pan is 18.70 and now again we are applying the weight on the tight side to lift a weight on the slack side very smallly we are applying the a parts weight applied on the tight side is 90 g and weight of pan is 19.90 then for the next reading the angle of contact is 3 pi by 2 that is 270 degree so from here the surface are in contact and it is up to this so this is angle of contact is 270 degree so here this is our slack side weight in the slack side is 20 g and weight in the tight side that we have to measure how many weight is required to slide a thread on the surface Uh, on the surface of drum Just see the thread are sliding on the surface of the drum. So that value we have to note how many forces are acting in the how many weight we are applying on the tight side. The weight is 
वन वन टू ग्राम इट इज सेम वेट इन द पैड ऑन द स्लैक साइड इज सेम नाउ दी फॉर द सेकेंड रीडिंग द एंगल ऑफ कॉन्टैक्ट इज टू पाई सो टू पाई मीन्स इट इज ए थ्री सिक्सटी डिग्री so now the angle of contact is 2 pi 360 degree so from here the surface from here the surface are in contact with the thread and it is up to this so the angle of contact is 360 degree this side we are considering is slack side the weight is same 20 g and now we have to measure how many weight is required on the tight side so it is slowly sliding the thread is sliding on the drum weight acting on the tight side weight in the pan of the tight side is 155 g so every time you, you are, uh, every time you are noting that the weight on the tight side that is weight in the pan of the tight side is increasing because this and the surface of contact is increasing so weight in the pan is every time it is increasing for, then for the next reading the angle of contact is 5 pi by 2 that is 450 degree so now only we are increasing the angle of contact by 90 degree here it is 360 degree and now the angle of contact is increased by 90 degree so the total angle of contact is 450 degree now it is sliding the thread is sliding on the surface of drum now check the how many effort is required no sir yes 220 220 g weight is required for sliding for the angle of contact is 5 pi by 2 then for the next reading the angle of contact is 3 pi that is 4 uh, that is 540 degree so now again we are increasing the angle of contact by 90 degree already it is already it is 450 degree and then now the angle now the angle of contact is 540 degree so this is one complete round so that indicating the 360 degree surface in contact and now from this side 90 degree and from this side 90 degree so the angle of contact is 540 degree weight in the pan of slack side is 20 g and weight in the pan of tight side that we have to check how many weight is required to slide the thread on the surface of drum
Now it is sliding. And now note down the weight on the right side. Three three five three hundred and thirty five gram weight are required for slide the thread that is weight on the right side. 